Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So recently I've been scrolling through the GSAP community and then I found this cool vertical scrolling images stuff which looked really nice and I wanted to teach you guys um, the same effect and so here we have it. So here we have a bunch of images stacked on top of each other but then as I scroll we have this cool parallax effect and as you can see the, this also has a bit of LERP effect that many awards winning websites also include. So it's pretty nice. Um, the source code will be in the description and also the link to the original GSAP post will be in the description. It's a pretty nice way of showcasing your different images, maybe your projects or maybe like you want to have sort of like a gallery or so. You can showcase it. It's pretty fun. And yeah, without delay. Let's get started and let's learn to build this. So here I am in my cursor and so this is the index.html file and I have some stuff here. So the first thing that you can see that we have the style tag with some basic styling. So I've removed the margin and padding. I've added the background color to this dark color and then I've added overflow over scroll behavior as none and then overflow x as hidden and then i've also added the cdns for gsap so i have gsap.min.js i have scroll trigger.min.js and then scroll smoother.min.js and yeah that's basically what we need so i'm going to be first creating inside of the body i'm going to be creating a wrapper div so i'm just going to be giving it an id of wrapper within that we're going to have the content which will hold the actual content and then within that, we're going to have a section with the class of images, which would hold all the different images. So for that, I'll just add an image tag and then add a source and then just add the image. Now, if I save it, uh, you can see that we have the image added here. Now, there's one specific thing that we need to add in this image, and that is a data attribute of data speed. Now, this is essentially will basically give different speeds to different images so that when we scroll down, we'd see that we have different speeds of um, of different images. So some would be slower and then some would be a bit faster. So we just have a data speed of 0 0.7 to this image. Let's, let's just paste in the other images as well. So you can see that I've already added different speeds to the different images. Let's save and let's see the images. So as you can see that we have different images. Now let's add a CSS to um, get the layout working properly. So here, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be targeting the content and then I'm gonna be giving it a, a display flex of justify content center and then align items to center. And then it would target the images, would have the images as display flex and flex to action as column with as 50% and then justify content center and align items to center. And then as you can see that everything is aligned at the center now. And then I'm going to be targeting each of the images. I'm going to be giving it width of 40% and then an aspect ratio of one, meaning that it will make it a square and then take that specific width and then calculate that, that specific height and then make it a square object fit as cover and then a border radius of eight pixels. All right, looks nice. But then these are like pretty um, standard stacking up on top of each other. So we don't want it um, like too systematic or like too, too basically aligned. So what we can do is we can add some even odd margins. So for the odd ones, we'll just have a negative margin on the left. And then for the even one, we can have a negative margin on the right. And then as you can see that this is looking better. All right, so we're done with the alignment. Let's start with the JavaScript. Now, the JavaScript is pretty easy. So we start off with a script tag. Within that, first, we create two variables. First is the skew setter, and then we have a clamp. And the skew setter is going to be a function. So the gsap.quick2 method basically allows you to, basically, this returns you a function. So this function basically helps you to add quick CSS styles. So first is the element that you want to add the styling. And then the second one is basically the CSS property that you want to style. So this will basically return you a function. So skew setter now is basically a function. And then the clamp would basically be a um, maximum value. 
So we don't want it to be like when we scroll, we don't want to be skewed too much. So we just have a minimum and maximum value. So the lowest it can go is negative eight and then the maximum would be eight. And yeah, that's basically what we have. And then uh, we start off with the scroll smoother. So the scroll smoother dot create uh, basically creates the entire uh, smooth scrolling stuff. And then here we just add the wrapper as the wrapper ID that we just we just added. And then for the content, we just add the content ID. And then we have smooth and speed. Now these values, the higher the value you have, the smoother it's going to be. And the speed is basically the speed at which you want basically to see the stuff going on when you scroll. And then you have effects are true. This basically enables you to add the different uh, effects that you can add while you're scrolling. So here when we scroll, we basically want the images to basically skew, make it kind of have the lerp sort of effect and then also the parallax effect. So for that, uh, we have two functions on update and on stop. So every time you scroll, this on update gets triggered. So every time it um, triggers, we want to have this skew skew setter function and then this skew setter function would have would have the clamp clamp function passed in as um, inside the function and then this clamp would basically first get the velocity of the scrolling so this this self dot get velocity is the speed at which you're scrolling which the smooth scroller basically provides and then what you do is you divide it by negative 50 just so that you can have uh, the velocity a bit less. And then the negative basically means that you want the effect to happen in the negative or the reverse direction. And then this clamp makes sure that the value that you're passing in is always less, uh, I mean, always greater than negative 8, but then less than 8. So these basically are the min and max value basically. And then when you stop it, you want everything to be normal. So you just set skew setter as zero. Now, if I save, as you can see here, let's refresh the page. And now if I scroll, you'd see that we have this cool effect and it's pretty nice and pretty sleek. So yeah, that's it for this video. I'll meet you guys in the next. Till then, bye-bye, take care and peace.